Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I wanted to do one more video on um, a famous theorem in projective geometry that I've used a couple of times on my channel. Um, and it comes in handy all the time, so I think it's worth learning. Um, so this is um, a theorem on what's called harmonic conjugates. Um, so those are four points whose cross ratio is equal to one. Um, and so if you'd like to try to solve it, uh, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm going to go over the problem. So let C be any point on the line segment AB. And let D and E be points so that D lies in the triangle AB. And then BD meets AE at F. And uh, AD meets BE at G. And then we let FG, or we let the line FG meet the line AB at H. And we want to prove that those four points, A, B, C, and H, are in harmonic conjugation. So the cross ratio A, B, C, H is equal to 1. So this is actually just going to be the first part um, of this video. Um, I'm going to show one more theorem on uh, harmonic conjugates after this. Um, but basically, um, the proof of this only involves doing two different projections. So we want to find the cross ratio A, B, C, H, but what we can do is we can project through point E onto the line F, H. Um, so I'm going to let this intersection point right here, um, I'm going to call it I. So if we project A, B, C, and H through point E onto line F, H, you would get the four points F, G, I, and H. Um, so, the so those two cross ratios have to be the same. Um, if you see my last video, I go into more detail on this. I give some numerical examples. But um, the idea is if you start with point E, if you draw the lines to point A, B, uh, C, and H, uh, and you see where it hits line FH, it hits it at these four points, F, G, I, and H. And it turns out there's only one more projection that we need to do. So now I'm going to take those four points, F, G, I, and H, and I'm going to project through point B. Um, so F goes to B, so I'm going to project through point D back onto the line AH, and so F goes to point B, uh, G goes to point A, uh, I goes to C, and H uh, stays at H. Um, okay, so this is what I just said, so we project through point D, F goes to B, uh, G goes to A, that's true, I goes to C, that's true, and H just stays at point H. Okay, so now by the transitive property, we have that this first cross ratio is equal to this last cross ratio. Um, so they look almost the same, it's just the first two letters are switched. And it turns out that it's a property of cross ratios that if this is the case, where a cross ratio is equal to itself, but with the, the first two letters switched, then that cross ratio has to equal one. And that's pretty easy to prove uh, using algebra. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna spell it out here. But by definition, this first cross ratio, uh, it's gonna be the ratio that C divides the segment AB into. So it's gonna be CA over CB divided by HA over HB. And this one uh, would be CB over CA divided by HB over HA. But if you look closely, uh, the left and the right side are reciprocals of each other. So if something is equal to its reciprocal, then it has to be equal to one. Uh, that's the only way that can be true. Um, um, I guess also it could be uh, negative one, but um, on my channel in general, I always keep things positive um, when working with ratios. And so uh, that cr the left side, uh, which is the cross ratio, has to simply be equal to 1. So ABC H is equal to 1. And from this, we also get, so we've solved the problem, but you can also see that that means FGIH is equal to 1. So this cross ratio is equal to 1. And I'll let you think about it, but it turns out you can also show that the cross ratio EDIC is equal to 1. So a lot of different cross ratios equal to 1. Um, so uh, one really interesting thing about this theorem is we started with um, fixing A, B, and C. And then we said that H has to be the point which is in harmonic conjugation with those three. 
So there's only one such point that is in harmonic conjugation with those three. So basically that means however we move around points D and E, um, H would have to be the same, the same point, which is kind of surprising. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like moving D and E around a little bit. And look, point H doesn't change no matter how you move around point D and E, which I think is pretty cool. Um, all right, so that's the first half of the video. And in the second half, I'm going to do another theorem uh, with projective harmonic conjugates. Um, there's just another configuration. Okay, so here's another theorem that's uh, very useful related to uh, harmonic conjugates. Okay, so we have a triangle ABC, uh, and the bisector of angle ABC meets the side AC at D. And then we draw the perpendicular to segment BD, uh, passing through B, and we let it meet the line AC at point E. And we want to show that the cross ratio AC DE is equal to 1. All right, so I'm going to start um, by using the angle bisector theorem. Um, and by the way, I brought this up. I brought this up before my channel and used it in a couple problems. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's pretty worth knowing. Um, so by the angle bisector theorem, um, AD over DC is AB over BC. Um, and some of you will know that since um, BE is perpendicular to BD. Uh, BE has to be the exterior angle bisector um, of uh, angle B in triangle ABC. And so there's some of you may just know that there's an exterior angle bisector theorem, which says in that case, um, EA over EC has to equal uh, AB over BC. Um, and that would, uh, with just a little bit of algebra, that would solve the problem. But for those of you that don't know that exterior angle bisector theorem, I'm going to kind of prove it here. Um, so I'm going to start by, um, ultimately, I want to show that the ratio EA over EC is equal to AD over DC, because um, that would end up showing that these points are in harmonic conjugation. So how do I get the ratio EA over EC? Well, I'm going to draw a parallel through A to line BC. And I'm going to let it meet uh, side BE at point F. So AF is parallel to BC. And then I so then I claim that triangle AFB is isosceles. And so that's not a difficult angle chase. So I'm going to do that right here. Um, so if we look at angle AFB, since AF is parallel to BC, uh, AFB has to be 180 minus FBC. Um, but FBC um, is is FBD. FBD is a right angle that's 90 degrees. So 180 minus FBC has to be 90 minus DBC. Um, but then uh, angle DBC is equal to angle DBA because uh, DBD is an angle bisector. So 90 minus DBC is 90 minus DBA. And 90 minus DBA, well, that's FBD minus DBA, so that's FBA. So we've shown that angle AFB is equal to angle FBA, and so therefore FA is equal to AB. Um, okay. And now, like I mentioned, we wanted to, to find the ratio EA over EC, but because AF is parallel to BC, uh, EA over EC is the same as AF over BC, and AF is equal to AB. So I'm just so we're essentially we're very close. So I'm just going to write out the algebra here. But EA over EC is equal to FA over BC, and that's because AF and BC are parallel. And FA over BC, well, from this equation, FA is equal to AB, so that would be AB over BC. And AB over BC, as we set up here, is AD over DC by the normal angle bisector theorem. So if, if EA over EC is AD over DC, uh, then we could 
divide, and then that means if we take the outermost fractions and divide the two fractions, we have to get one. So I just divided this by this. So AD over DC divided by AE over CE is equal to one. And by definition, uh, that means that AC, DE are in harmonic conjugation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this theorem, I probably used it like, I would say at least 10 times uh, throughout all the problems I've done. Um, so this video combined with the last video are really the most important theorems in projective geometry. Uh, I wouldn't say there's a huge amount of other theorems. There's some sort of more obscure ones that don't get used as much maybe, but if you know this video and you know the last video, uh, that's enough to be able to solve quite a bit of problems. Um, so if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you um, want to see more, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.